Rub up your engines! Today, hey, hey, I'm gonna talk about the indestructibility of the old Camrys. In this case, it's a nine Camry with a four cylinder engine and an automatic transmission. Now it may look a little beat up. And yeah, and here in the tail light, it even says crap. The electric window, 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 but it still runs like a clock. Got three miles on it. But the air conditioning, ah, it still blows cold as ice. And even though it's only got a four cylinder engine and an automatic transmission, look at this. It still takes off like a rocket ship. It's got plenty of exhaust. What the hell is even that? Just take a look under the hood. Hell yeah, brother. It's back in 93 when they were making these. Diabetes. Over engineered them. So they let, 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 kept oil in this 2200cc, cc, cc, friend. They could run for ever. This three has got the original engine, the original transmission, the original air conditioner. I mean, they built those things to last. Now, when these first came out, I had customers that bought them, and they said, we road tested one. Oh. It's got a V6 or V8 engine in it. And they open the hood and see, it's only a four-cylinder engine. That is one well-designed four-cylinder engine. Now, they didn't sell many of these in the United States. And that thing could burn rubber in all nine gears. It was an extremely fast car. But it made him mad because back in the day, if you got the standard five-speed transmission, you couldn't get it with power windows. So he had to buy it with his back window. And he was mad because he wasn't power windows. Now they were a well thought out car too. A cab and back seats in a Japanese car. You feel like you were squeezed into a sardine can. Now sure, this car's seen better, but it still runs like a car. Heck, I got my youngest son used. Cost me less than a hundred bucks. Whoa. But the thing just kept going, had a lot of diabetes. But it hadn't touched the engine or transmission. And a big advantage, even if you own one today, is door handles. <laughs> Took me like five. I drove one from here to <laughs> where the speed limit's 85 and I don't want 90. I'm gonna tell you how to but I'm bad to the pole. No problem at all cruising down there and back. Other than having indigestion for eating at a really bad Mexican restaurant near the border. These old Camry. And if you want to get the ultimate hey, car, hey. An old Camry. It could be the bad car for you.